Hi there, Ore Pampa here, your African voice of artist, and I thought I'd share with you my week narrating a Nigerian audiobook in London. Follow along. This week, I recorded an audiobook in London. The story followed the lives of two characters based in Nigeria. It's a story of two separate families, one rich and one poor, and how at different points their lives intersect. The story had a beautiful mix of supporting characters and different languages, English, Yoruba, Pidgin, and Ijesha. It was such a beautiful experience. I recorded this audiobook at Red Apple Studios in London. The team at Red Apple Studios were so warm and hospitable. I was well taken care of whilst there. From the receptionists, who made me lovely lemon and ginger tea every day, to the producers, who gave me a steady supply of fruits and drinks to keep me comfortable, and also helped me deliver my best with their keen attention to detail. The vocal booth I recorded in was very comfortable and well-treated. They used a Sennheiser MKH416 shotgun microphone, which worked very well for my voice. We had whole day recording sessions for four days from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. with a break at lunchtime and regular breaks in between as needed. Lunch for me was usually at Wasabi and I always looked forward to treating myself with their cookies and cream biscuit sticks. Mm, love them. It had been so long since I had these. I was so happy. The recording of my sections of the audiobook took about four days to complete, including pickups. The final product should come to between nine and 10 finished hours. Yeah, sometimes it does take that long. There were so many aspects to juggle technically, with different characters, different languages, and a wide range of emotions to be portrayed. It was a book that had many conversations in it, including in Yoruba and Ijesha dialect, which was an interesting challenge. Now, you're probably wondering what this amazing book was. Well, unfortunately, I can't tell you until it gets released. You can follow my page for updates and I'll let you know when it comes out. It was certainly a well-written story that touched on family life in Nigeria, the intersection of this with power, wealth, poverty, politics, and unmet expectations. It was essentially a window into the lives of these characters. Many thanks to my co-voice of artist, Babajideo Ikunle, whose knowledge of Yoruba and the Jesha dialect came Hello. in so handy. Literally, he was a lifesaver on this project. Hello. The producers, Aidan Lyons, Nikki Alexandro, and Toby Lewis. And also to the head of audiobooks at Red Apple Studios, Zoe Dale. And to the author and the book publisher. Their names are withheld for now, but I'll let you know about them in future. This was such a fun experience and I'm looking forward to doing more audiobooks like these in the future. All right, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this window into my life as a voiceover artist. Until next time, it's been Aura Pampa, your African voiceover artist. <laughs>